Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jillian. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a collective reading. Today is Saturday, February the 19th. So I'm going to tune into the energy of the collective and see what guidance we need for the upcoming week and what can support us. So I'm going to start with the my deck, my oracle deck, um, Keepers of the Light and Angel Prayers. And I'm just going to take a moment actually to tune into the energy of the collective. Just asking the angels what guidance we need. And so February has been a month of, for many of us, a lot of change and transitions. So let's see what um, the upcoming week has in store for us. Okay, so the three cards that I've chosen for us today are Lady Venus, Archangel Ariel, and Archangel Michael. So the first thing that I'm feeling for the collective is that a lot is going to be revealed to us in the next week or so. And I mean, I think that goes along with the energy of, tra of change and transition. But the message that I'm receiving is it's really important for us at this time to pay attention to our dreams. So if you have a dream journal or if you don't already, it's really great. It's a really great practice to um, wake up in the morning and journal your dreams because often we'll receive messages through our, our dreams that can be really informative, really supportive and really um, provide us with a lot of insight in our day to day lives. So. Um, I'm feeling like, especially with this February 22nd, 2022, which is a powerful day in numerology that's coming up this week. I think it's on Tuesday. Um, there's going to be a lot of information coming to us this week that can be supportive through our dreams. So we're being guided to really pay attention to our dreams um, and um, journal about our dreams this week. It's the first thing coming through. Um, we also have the energy of Archangel Ariel, and she's um, she's the Archangel that's connected with animals and um, taking care of our animals, but also about standing up for ourselves and standing our ground with peace. So I'm feeling like this week, healthy boundaries are going to be really important, especially with this energy of change and transition, especially with us, um, you know, receiving a lot of information that might lead to those changes. There's going to be a lot going on, so we need to protect our energy. We need to have healthy boundaries. We need to, you know, set the tone within our relationships that we need to take care of ourselves first. And just, I think the energy is like, don't be afraid to like, I mean, she's doing it in this, in this depiction of her. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Don't be afraid to say that you need some space. Don't be afraid to, yeah, basically like stand your ground with peace. Like you can, you can be, um, you can be direct in a very compassionate and loving way. There's nothing wrong with standing up for yourself. And that's what the message is coming through for the collective is um, from Archangel Ariel. And then we have Archangel Michael, the great protector, often depicted with sword and shield. He's like my ride or die. I love Archangel Michael. I work with him daily. So he's a wonderful angel. And I mean, it's the same kind of energy as like putting up boundaries, right? Like setting, setting, Creating healthy boundaries for yourself this week, I think is going to be really important, but he's also the energy of trust and faith. And so that's what he represents. And so I'm feeling like through this process, it's important to know that you are protected, you are safe, um, you know, take that time for yourself and allow things to, um, you know, instead of kind of making a rash decision this week with everything that's kind of shifting and changing, be patient and have faith in the whole process. I think that's really important. And you can always, if you feel called to, you can work with Archangel Michael. He's amazing at helping us to cultivate that faith and cultivate that patient through patience through times of change and transition. Because I'm definitely feeling like there's change and transition happening this week and the upcoming weeks, especially with this two, 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 two. Um, so Lady Venus, um, her energy is, you know, really paying attention to your dreams. You might be receiving messages of insight and guidance through your dreams. And so having that dream journal can be really helpful. 
Archangel Ariel is standing your ground with peace, creating healthy boundaries, and Archangel Michael is saying to have faith and trust in the process and allowing things to unfold with faith. My grandmother used to always say one day at a time, and Archangel Michael can help us cultivate that faith and trust in the process, even when things feel like, you know, um, really difficult or really challenging or really overwhelming, he can help us find that trust and peace. Um, and also he's a great protector, so knowing that he is protecting us, so you can call him on for protection as well. And then like that is the, uh, the reading for the week. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you work with these angels, if this resonates with you, if you have any questions about the reading, please like and share this video with a friend who might find it helpful. And I'm sending you so much love. If uh, you want to book a private reading with me, I'll leave my link to my website in the description, or rather, yeah, in the description box below. Sending you much love always, and I'll see you in the next video soon. Take good care.